Hi everyone, I'm Paige and welcome to my sewing corner. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how I made this dress, which is McCall 7993. This is what the pattern looks like and I did view C. Throughout this video, I'm going to be putting this dress together predominantly with my serger. And that's just, it makes it faster and easier because I can sew and make a clean finish on all of the seam allowances all at once. But you can construct this dress with a sewing machine. You'll just need to use a stretch stitch like a lightning bolt stitch or a very narrow zigzag stitch. I'll have to do another video explaining more about that. But we'll save it for another day. Let's get right into the tutorial. Place the front and back on the fold and then you're going to just cut out all of your pattern pieces and it will look like this. Then you're going to align the shoulder seams of the front and the back and pin them into place. And this would be with the right sides together. And then you're going to be stitching something to strengthen the shoulder seam. In this case, I just used a piece of thin ribbon just because I didn't want the shoulders to stretch at all, but you can also use really thin elastic as well. So I just align the edge of my fabric with the seam allowance mark and make sure that my ribbon goes into the seam stitching and doesn't get cut off by the blade on the serger. So I'll just feed that right on through. And simple as that, this, the shoulder seam is stabilized. Then I'm going to align both the side seams and just match the little notches and then match the bottom and make sure everything is smooth. Just pin all the way down and stitch from top to bottom. Same thing on the other side. With a serger, this part goes really quick. Then I'm going to take the neck band and just stitch that together on the two open ends to create a loop. And then I'm going to take that and fold it directly in half and iron it. And I'll also baste the sides as well. You can see with the white thread here that I basted it. So then I'm going to align that seam in the center back and I just, you know, make sure that I have everything oriented where the front and the back match. So I place pins and then pin the front and the back center first and then I match the, mar the notches on the sides and then I just stretch to fit throughout the whole neckline. So as you sew this, you may need to stretch it just slightly, but you just sew all the way around the neckline. And then to prepare the sleeve, we're going to take these matching points and just bring one dot to its partnering dot and that creates the pleat. And I just like using pins when I do pleats, even though it says to baste it with thread. I like just using pins for the whole thing. So I just pin everything really securely. And then I baste along the bottom edge, but I leave the top pin in there. And I'll place the sleeve right sides together and stitch the arm. And then for the cuff, I'll just fold that in half and stitch along that open edge and then fold it in half and then it looks like a cuff. You can baste that side together if you want to. I didn't just because I just was gonna pin everything really securely. So I'm matching up the seam of the cuff and the seam of the sleeve first. And I had to make sure that I had the right layers. So I pinned all the way around the opening and then I'm going to stitch that on my serger. 
and I just sew a little bit at a time and take the pin out as I go all the way until I get to the beginning and then turn it right side out and take those basting pins out. Then to set in the sleeve, you're going to make sure that you have the right sleeve where the front notches both match up. And you're also going to put in a line or two of basting around the top of the shoulder and that's an ease stitch and you'll use that to, to set in the sleeve and to ease the sleeve into the curve. So you match up your matching points first and then and that's on the underside of the arm opening. And then you're going to pull one of the threads to ease in the top of the sleeve over the shoulder. And then you'll stitch the sleeve and move on to the hem. So I surged the edge and then turned up two inches for a hem. I'm just gonna stitch into that surging line with a lightning bolt stitch and it has stretch to it, so I don't have to worry about any popping seams. And the hem is complete. Finally, I decided to add a little bit of a tie or a sash, whatever you'd like to call it. So I just made a long rectangle. I cut the ends on the diagonal and stitched all the way down, leaving just one opening. Turned it right side out, pressed it, and then turned in that one open side, folded in the ends and stitched that close and top stitched all the way around the perimeter. And this is the dress, dressed up and styled for night and for day. And that is how you make this dress. If you like this video, you can let me know by clicking the like button down below. You can also click the subscribe and the bell alert if you want to be notified anytime that I post a video. If you have any questions or comments, you can let me know down below and I'll answer them as soon as I can. And until next time, go get creative and make a dress that you love. Bye!